DITA, or Darwin Information Type Architecture, was a term coined by IBM in the 1960s. It was based on Charles Darwin's theory of evolution that all things relate to everything else. Think about it. All documents in circulation that pertain to things that change, like products, policies, or procedures. One change to that product renders all of those old documents obsolete, requiring that you create new ones. Allow us to introduce CenterPoint. It treats everything as an element from your digital assets to your boilerplate content to even hyperlinks and terminology to allow you to rapidly develop documents, web pages. To illustrate, we're going to create some boilerplate content. This will be able to be reused in the future. We're also going to tag which roles of which users see it. Next, we're going to create a new document. We'll call it New Document ABC. We're going to drag over our boilerplate content, any other elements. So this becomes a shell of living elements that render for each user differently. We're then going to bring in our digital asset of the diagram. Next, we might even bring in a special message just for the board members. So once we hit Submit, that's going to pass through a document template or shell. This is a Word document that you create. All of the table of contents will occur automatically. Here we see our boilerplate content. Here we see our digital asset. Now, if we happen to go back and change that asset later from a diagram to a photograph of a pineapple, all documents which used to reference the diagram now will reference the pineapple. So here we see the word output showing our pineapple. If we were to add the word indemnity, it will then match anything within the vocabulary or glossary and show on submission that we have the pineapple and also the hyperlink to indemnity. This is a living document, so each user who downloads it might see it differently. Logging in as a board member and downloading it, we see only the information for the board member. Although you can use CSS, we're proud to support Microsoft Word as easy to use templates to manage your document shell. Here you can design your document output, upload it, even if the output happens to be PDF. We also support the ability to output PowerPoint and Excel. Not only do we need to group the elements within the document, we have documents within a larger collection, like a manual. When users request either one document or the entire collection, it's being created on demand just for that individual. This means that one procedural manual can be seen differently by everyone within your organization in a personalized way. We also have tools to reorder that collection later if necessary. CenterPoint out of the box can integrate with Active Directory, LDAP, so we know all of your users so we can give each user the right document. We also use this single sign-on to track exactly who's downloaded which document when and which instance. Also, we may want to provide incentives or what we call gamification, points or rewards for people to get more involved or to collaborate more. Finally, education is a big part of this because we need to know that the people understood the new procedure or policy. After reading the document, if they take a test and pass, we know that they've become certified. Once the document's released, it continues to change. So those people who have the privileges to make a change, like this user adding ABCD or removing this content, that content might be routed to their administrator, who can now review the change that was made, and determine whether they want to approve it. And right from their email or mobile device, they can approve that. So now we see here's our updated page, including its version history. So we're maintaining that version history throughout its life cycle. As we download that document, we see our new changes, the ABCD edition, and when it was approved. This means that at the click of a button or filling out a form, you can create dynamic content, contracts, PowerPoints, anything you need, fresh from the oven. Probably the most important thing is how do we bring your old content back to life? Our unique data transfer tools allow us to reach out to your databases, SharePoint, Oracle, CSV, any data format, even raw Word and PDF documents and shared network drives to map those fields and pull it into this infrastructure so it can be managed intelligently.